Jay Drone here. What's going on, guys? We got the Drone X drone here, and uh, my man Don. I appreciate you. This was sent from one of you guys. Uh, Don, you know who you are. I appreciate you. We're gonna get this in the air. So, first thing we need to do is uh, we need to connect the drone battery. We need to connect this within three seconds of that starting. That's connected. Then what we need to do is we need to take this cable that came with it. This cable that came with it is how you calibrate the gyroscope. So what we are going to do, we're going to put this in here and uh, we're going to put that in there. And I'll keep try to show you the back here. We're going to have this on as much as a level surface as possible out here, which everything's not too level. That should be good. We're going to hold this till light goes off. Hold, light goes off, light goes back on. That is uh, your gyro calibration right there, guys. So we're gonna take this. You don't wanna lose that. Now we need to do a compass calibration. This is a GPS drone. So uh, we are going to go upwards ends. You see that light on the back? The blue light was blinking. And we are simply going to go one, one, and one and then we will get out of compass calibration just by going like that and we should be good to go this uh this red light here there's a blue light inside of it check this out i know where north is north is essentially that way let's see if it'll do it there i was a little bit off right there it's saying is north which i guess makes sense Hazleton's just off to the right. Wilkesbury is probably directly ahead. This finds your magnetic north, which I think is pretty darn impressive. This light here, once it's green, that, that means we have GPS. So uh, I guess I'm going to leave that go. I could go over the controller a little bit while that's going, or while it's gathering satellites. Horrible day to be flying. Um, there, it's blinking green. So we might have acquired our uh, satellites, but we're still going to go over the controller. A lot of the times I don't do this and I just get right in the flight. So up here you have a hold and back home. That's your fail safe. If you lose range, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to hold its position or do you want it to return home? I want it to return home, so I have that flip there. You have altitude hold, center. I'm not sure what center is, and headless mode. We are going to be in altitude hold over there. We have off GPS and return to home, which I guess uh, we're going to flip that up then and make that go off. Um, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll start in GPS and then here to change your speed rates, hold menu. It'll say one, two, four. We're going to start in one and that's first speed, two is the second speed. And I don't know why it jumps to four, but that's your third speed. Then hit exit. So again, hold that. You'll see one, two, four, and then you can go to it. To unlock the motors, I believe is inwards. It goes, boom, boom. it fires off twice and to shut them down is the opposite direction. So we're gonna go inwards, and we're gonna go up. And again, we are in the first speed setting. It's in altitude hold mode. It's drifting a little bit. I have a decent amount of wind behind me. What I wanna do is GPS. It grabbed, it's losing altitude just a little bit. It's moving around just a little bit, but not bad. Not bad at all. So uh, we're gonna bring this over here. Controls on this controller are very nice. This is a uh, kind of hobby grade type controller feel to it. Um, seems to wanna face that way. Let me see, I'm gonna y'all this way. Or no, maybe, maybe all it is is the GPS is trying to gather and with the wind blowing this way, that's what it was because now it's kind of sitting back. It is moving around a little bit. Again, I'm probably not locked onto a lot of satellites here, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just gonna do a little fly out here. And I am in GPS mode and I am in the first speed setting. So that's not bad. That's typical for a GPS altitude hold drone. And again, you can see that, uh, you can see that light blinking, the blue light bam we're pointing north that's pretty cool <laughs> that is pretty cool um what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it back and i'm going to show you the yaw rate in the first speed setting 
show you a little rocking horse. Doesn't have much, much pitch. It's not horrible though. We're gonna bring it back. So I'm going to bring it up a little and then I'm gonna drop out of GPS, which I just did and it didn't crash down. So you could definitely do that during flight. We should have increased flyability. Which I do believe we do. Increased flyability. Okay, now we're gonna bring it back. Absolutely have increased flyability. Again, I'm only on the first setting here, guys. We're gonna do a little y'all y'all for y'all. Then we're gonna bring it back. Now what I wanna see is we're going to drop it into GPS sit. I'm gonna to try to increase the rate simply by holding menu. And we're just gonna to jump to the fourth rate. That way we could see considerable change if there is considerable change. We are in the fourth rate not right now. GPS seems to wanna to grab this pretty strongly where it, it was pitching pretty heavy and then GPS is dragging it a little bit, um, and, which is good. As you can see, <laughs> it grabbed it pretty hard right there. Um, that's good for a GPS quad. You definitely want that. And I think every time I press down, <laughs> the lights come on underneath it. That's pretty neat, I guess. All right, so what we're gonna do, we are going to uh, take that off. And now do a fly out. This thing's got some speed to it, guys. It's got some speed to it. Dude, I don't know why. Dang toys and me just don't get along. We got a sophisticated drone like this that takes a little know-how to get up in there. It takes, takes a little homework to do before you feel confident flying it. And then I got those Typhoons. I got an X-16 GPS. I got the X-16 altitude hold. And I think even my X-15 doesn't fly right. <laughs> and I think what this is here, we're gonna GPS hold. This looks like XK Detect. Um, I don't know if that flies this way, but that's what that front looks like. I'm just gonna put this down here. This is actually the front right there where it has a really, really like bull nose type aggressive look to it. We'll get up in there if it'll sit. It is moving around a little bit, considerably. We're dealing with a decent amount of wind out here though. Good looking drone. And again, we'll show you the back here, which I believe is the front of XK Detect. And again, I'm pressing down and those lights are coming on. Ah, what up? <laughs> So this is a cool drone. Um, what, are we in GPS? We are in GPS, it's sitting. I thought it was orbiting just a little bit. Um, we, I, like the, I like the calibration procedure, I do. I absolutely do like the calibration procedure. Stick that thumb drive, uh, the USB, into it. And then, um, and then just sticks in, one circle, one barrel, one flip. That's it, that's it, guys. Um, it took me a little while to get confident with this because there is also a program tied to this, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, a lot of people are saying the program is non-existent anymore because of uh, people no longer supporting this model, which I'm liking it. A little punch up. That's cool. When you're also full throttle up, it is giving you, uh, it's giving you those lights on. Or no, even even a little bit throttle up. So a little bit throttle up, it's giving you those lights. A little bit throttle down, it's giving you those lights and blinking really quickly. And we are in GPS mode. That's, we're in altitude hold mode now. Our nose uh, has dropped considerably. We are no longer being dragged heavy by GPS which some drones that do have GPS, despite the fact you could turn it off, sometimes GPS is just so darn strong that uh, it'll, it'll, it'll affect performance and it'll drag. But we are in altitude hold lock. It seems pretty good. The altitude hold seems pretty good. It might be raising just a little bit. It's obviously drifting because we're not in uh, GPS lock, but sit. 
sit despite the wind that's blowing that way it did sit so gps works on this don again thank you guys if you want to send me something get your piece of paper and pen out if you want to see me fly something you got a favorite drone you got a drone you don't like you got a drone that you want just to get in j drone's hands j-a-y-d-r-o-n-e that is the name you're going to send it to j drone for east market street for east market street m-c-a-d-o-o m-c-a-d-o-o p-a 18237 for east market street mcadoo pennsylvania 18237 now that is not my physical address but it will get to me just like that's not my physical name <laughs> it will get to me i promise you uh that's just uh how stuff gets sent to me man Super cool drone, man. And let's see, we have it in GPS, it's holding. Um, let's bring it down just a little bit. That's a nice shot there, despite that's not the front of the quad. What up, buddy? What up? Um, we are pushing 11 minutes and change here. This drone, some of these drones came with a gimbal too. There's a little slide mount right here. There's servos, there's, uh, not servos, but there's power wire right on this leg um, to hook up a gimbal and your antenna wires are on this other leg Woo! easy there buddy wind's blowing um they're on that other leg there but yeah some of them came with a nice gimbal uh my friend don that sent this to me said he didn't get the one with the gimbal and even if he did and he wanted to keep the gimbal i wouldn't have been mad at him at all because again he sent me this drone um which was epic i mean i actually did something for him and i i I can do it for anybody else if you'd like. The Jumper T8SG, if you want the Bugs 8 protocol, I'm kind of just chilling here, kind of get a feel for time-wise. Um, if you want the protocol on the Jumper and you don't think you can do it, uh, we can work something out through PayPal where you take care of the shipping and you take care of the payment and you throw me a tip. Throw me a tip, I'm not asking for $20, I'm not asking for $200 to do it. You pay for it, you pay for the T8SG, I have Amazon Prime, um, we can do a PayPal transaction, I'll pick up the T8SG, I'll have it sent to me, you make sure you cover shipping on the way back, and throw me a tip. Throw me a tip and I'll have one of those controllers programmed and shipped out to you. I have the program, I have the DMU file, and it, just like that, I get it in, done. And if I get in in the morning, it'll be shipped out in the post office in the afternoon and I will provide tracking, uh, United States Postal Service, two to three days. That is a, that is a offer, uh, an offer, a service. That is a J drone service that I'm throwing out there for y'all. <laughs> um, if you haven't caught my video, I do have a video that I put out today prior to this one. It's a DM009 for $25. Um, it is a used one. I do sell them for $35. So I'll go back two videos from this one and you'll see the video and you'll see an eBay link. You can click on that. You could also check out my store on there. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns down below. If you're on Facebook and you're not on Drone Days, I'll put that link down below too. It is by far the best, most productive, most proactive, most humanitarian type group out there for drones. Uh, we like to help one another. We like to show off. We like to uh, basically just uh, be a drone group, plain point period. There's not no bashing that goes on because I'm flying the the drone x and you're flying an x5c dude i fly x5c's too i took an x5c out what half a mile half mile fpv on the jumper there's no uh no se segregation or discrimination in, in that group the link will be down below for that if you definitely want to check that out i will be putting a firefly q6 underneath this for my next flight um and we will maybe hook up fpv to it and take it for a little range run um let's see here coming back what are we doing here okay i got steady lights on i think yeah i got steady lights on which maybe no they went out i'm trying no they're blinking now so i got steady lights on without me touching the controller which would lead me to believe that's lvc and as you can see blue we're blinking blue um that means uh that we are pointing in north and it keeps on going on and off so it's slightly just a jar. So I'm gonna bring this down here. I wanna see what it's gonna do. Um, if it's gonna do an auto landing, if it's just gonna drop out of the sky, and if it's just gonna drop out of the sky, we're gonna have it low to ground here. Um, this was good. This was really a good first flight test with this. 
again, I'm always intimidated by a GPS drone that I don't know that has a hobby grade type style controller with it. And what are we doing here? Fighting the wind? Fighting the wind? I think it's fighting the wind. So we are chilling here. Let's see, I'm checking my time. Pushing 15 minutes and change. Um, probably like a two minute setup, I would guarantee. Um, we're just gonna let it ride. We're gonna let it ride. This is a, as most relaxed as we've done in here and we're gonna see if it's gonna shoot straight up and go back to motherland or if this is gonna plop, just drop on the ground or if this is gonna ew, slowly decrease the motors and land. Ew, slowly decrease the motors and land wouldn't be ideal. Um, again, guys, I'm on, dude, if you, if you write a comment 99% of the time, I will get it unless uh, YouTube decides to uh, not get me the comment. I know it happens, it definitely happens, but most of you guys know if you wanna chat with me, we can definitely chat, talk about drones or whatever. You can definitely do that. Let's just do a little walk around around the drone. Little walk around around the drone. What up, Mr. Free X? What up? It's still going, it is still going. And we have, nope, they're still blinking. So we have blinking lights underneath, which we'll get underneath so you can see it. The drone does seem to be, no, it's not. It's really not orbiting. It's just fighting that wind. Uh, so it's not locked onto one place. Um, the wind's kind of pushing a little bit and then it's going back to where it should be. When will it fall? What type of flight time are we gonna see? I'm sick of it sitting here. <laughs> I really am. Let's draw this battery out. It's a little bit boring for me. I'm sure it's a little bit boring for you. It's a good looking drone, really good looking drone. Pearlescent type paint to it. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. Has no face, no face to it. We're still not dropping. Meow. Easy. I think it's dropping now. Easy. Ooh, still got power. Still got power. It's basically sat itself down. I think it has enough power for me to shut it down, but whoo, easy, easy. That's what I did not want to happen. <laughs> that was on me, man. Um, I did not shut down the motors quick enough and kind of pulled back and it did exactly that. It went back. None of the blades are damaged. Drone's not damaged. A uh, little bit dirty, L little war, war scuff right there. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Here's a little look at that. And uh, DR, I don't know what DR stands for, but Bamzo, Don, you are the man. And guys, if you have a T8SG, you want me to program, we can work on it. Uh, check out my eBay listing, check out Drone Days. Bam! So this drone is because of yous, because of YouTube, because one of yous wanted me to fly this. And this was your drone. Now your drone is on YouTube. My tube. J-Drone. Later.